Reporting for the Intermountain Christian News, I'm Dr. Anthony Harper here at the White House. Top news issues I've been dealing with uh, at the White House, as well as at the State Department today, and that is addressing the illegal settlement issue. Former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is dis in disagreement with the current Secretary of State Antony Blinken and the Biden administration. So on Twitter, uh, Secretary, uh, the previous Secretary Mike Pompeo had a hot interchange, you might say, with the uh, current uh, Secretary of State Antony Blinken and uh, Mike Pompeo's disagreeing with the current Biden administration policy about Israel's right to be there. Uh, the Biden administration referring to this as an impediment to peace, but Mike Pompeo is saying that Israelis have the right to be there in their own land of Judea and Samaria. So I'm dealing with that uh, issue about, this is an ongoing issue re regarding Israel as the illegal occupier conversation that uh, we hear so often uh, in the news, especially from the Palestinian Authority, uh, Hamas and, and so forth. But comparing uh, this illegal occupant uh, issue to uh, what was happening across our border. I asked a question to the State Department today about where is the justice to uh, having illegal uh, immigrants coming across the country and where they can settle anywhere they want to and uh, murder American citizens, of course, and they, and they are doing that, uh, bringing drugs across our country, into our country, uh, making it very unsafe here in America, but also robbing the tax American taxpayer. So I had this very challenging question about that issue to uh, the S Secretary of State spokesman, M Mr. Matthew Miller, today. I'm Dr. Anthony Harper in the James Brady press room of the White House. Israeli General Amir Avivi, who had joined me in an interview today that he talked about Israel's right to their land and in opposition to the Palestinian state idea. The Biden administration has been very clear about seeing this as part of the roadmap to peace having a Palestinian state. But General Amir Avivi makes it clear why Israel can't agree to this Palestinian state. Uh, the Knesset voted 99 to 11 to oppose any uh, Palestinian state, two-state idea. For many of the Israeli people know that giving up land, uh, trading land for peace, has not worked for them and will not work for them. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a very curious time to see what's gonna be happening and how the Biden administration is gonna be dealing with Israel's Knesset uh, vote against this idea. They are resolute in their opinions in the Knesset, uh, this major majority in opposition to the Palestinian state. Along with that issue, what is not being talked about is for a lot of Orthodox Jewish people is their reference uh, in their Jewish scripture, Joel 3.2, that warns people about dividing up Israel. So you can look that up, Joel 3.2, to see what their concerns are, making it very clear uh, in, in that uh, of their scripture about that matter.